Hello, welcome back to IT Performance. Today I will be doing a new unboxing. Um, it's been a little while, but to be fair, I haven't had any money to buy anything. But um, today I will be unboxing an Intel SSD 7 uh, uh, M.2 uh, SSD card. Uh, I will be using this to set up a dual boot uh, Windows 10 system um, into two Windows 10 um, installs. Uh, one I will use as a completely bare version of Windows so I can do some testing um, without all the bloatware and rubbish that's on my other machine um, install. Uh, and the other is the brand new Logitech G502 Hero mouse. I had the first G502 mouse and I liked it. I liked it a lot. Um, and then I went to a Corsair one, mainly because I got the Corsair keyboard and mouse pad and I just thought I'd go with the flow. Um, but I'm not as, I don't like the Corsair mouse as much as I like the G502. It, there's a couple little things I think could have done better. Um, and so I am using this opportunity to go back. Okay, so let's get into it. Good. I will start with the uh, SSD. Okay, so this is the 256 gigabyte version. <clears throat> 80 millimeter, PCI 3.0 times 4. So hopefully it'll be nice and fast. So we get a little booklet and the SSD itself. Wow, that's pretty small. I've never actually used a M2 device, uh, M2 SSD. I've seen some wireless devices and stuff, but that is, that is actually a lot smaller than I thought it would be. Um, the 512 and one terabyte drives are the same size. And it has a sticker across the top with all the information on it. I will not be using any cooling um, devices, heat sinks or anything on it at this stage. And now the pièce de résistance, the, uh, the mouse, the mouse. Now let's have a look here. It has a next generation Hero sensor that delivers precision tracking of up to 16,000 DPI with zero smoothing, filtering, or acceleration. 11 programmable buttons and dual mode hyper fast scroll wheel give you fully customizable control over your gameplay. And a range up to five 3.6 gram weights for personalized weight and balance configuration. And of course there's you know, 16.8 million RGB lighting available. Just what everybody needs on the mouse, which is covered by your hand most of the time. Excuse me. Okay. Let's have a look what's in here. Okay, there's the mouse. The obligatory these days crate braided cable for gaming equipment. Uh, the menu. 
which tells you how to uh, that you need to plug it into a PC into a USB port and then down the, oh, it doesn't say but it indicates that you need to download some drivers maybe or software and then it tells you how to put the weights in And important safety, compliance, and warranty information. Basically, if you have a problem, you need to take it back to whoever you bought it from. So keep your receipt, people. Okay. And this nice little plastic. This is similar to the 502, the original one. And that's got your six little weights in it. Oops. That pop out. And pop out okay so I believe if you use all five weights that's 18 an extra 18 grams on top of the 121 grams already with the mouse okay so nice braided okay so the dual action scroll wheel which is one of the things that I really miss means that you can have it either freewheeling where you push the button here and it becomes ratcheted for more control okay I will be doing a setup video of this on my machine so we can go more into that later um, on the bottom you just flip that open that's held in place by I'm not sure if it's the magnet or whether it's just clips in, but I think it's a magnet. And then your little weights go in the bottom here. You can set them up. You can just have one if you like, or two, depending on how you're feeling on the day. You could even have one off to the side here like that, although I'm not sure how useful that will be. And what that weight will offset. Oh, what was the other spec I read on here? Durability of left and right mouses, mouse buttons, 50 million clicks, but also the feet on the bottom have a durability of 250 kilometers. So 250 kilometers. Who do you think would have sat down and moved the mouse and measured the distance they moved it while measuring how well those had worn down? <laughs> Probably no one. Okay. Um, thanks for watching. I will be doing a setup video for both of these items on my computer. Um, I will link them below once they are ready uh, and also Obviously, they'll be in my normal channel list. Okay, so if you like what you've seen, hit the like button. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe. Okay, see you next time.